Okay, so where to first? Want to hit up the record place and if we have time, go see Rory? Uh, I think we should see Rory first, since that's more important. Jeez, dude. doesn't get a lot of visitors. Why don't you come inside? Oh, you guys. Yeah. Mom, I'm gonna take them downstairs. Come on. You sure you don't want to come in and have something to eat? Leave them alone, Mom. Wow, Rory. Your mom is all legs. Shut up. Shut up. What do you guys want? Find out any more information on Semi? Alex has something he wants to say to you. I was out of line the other day. I was scared. I don't know what came over me. So, I'm hoping you can forgive me and can be friends. I, I think you're a cool guy, so, yeah. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. I overreacted. Also, I was wrong to lie to you guys. You had a valid point. So, we're trying to track down this record. You want to come with us? Yeah, sure.
ですかね。This record. It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. I've got the record jacket, but not the record. Any idea if it's in stock? Mystical Ultima LP Legend. That has to be by far one of the greatest records ever recorded. It's otherworldly. So you've heard of it? Nah, man. It's out there in the ether. It sounds like it's from a different world. Just by the name alone, I can tell it's amazing. <sighs> Any idea where we can get it? Can't you, like, order us a copy or something? Let me check the record catalog. Does it have to be on vinyl? I don't really care. I suppose I'd prefer it to be. More of an authentic sound, you know? Yeah, but only if you're playing from a tube amp. You have a tube amp, right? If you don't, it's like you're only... ...hearing half the song! Dude, you get it! Right on! Let me thumb through the catalog. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, we don't have it in our catalog. But we have two sister stores that probably will. They're both east of here. If, if they don't have it, I know they'll at least know where to get it. A quest for great music is always a worthy one, man. I think you'll find this is worth it in the end. Hmm, okay, yeah. We'll check it out. So, they're both east of here. Any specific directions? There's a strip mall east of here. That's the closest one. The one after that is northeast a bit. It's a standalone building. It's our flagship store, so I doubt you'll miss it. Good luck, guys! You guys want to hit up the other two stores? Yeah, I guess. Sounds like it could be fun. Yes, I am down. Let's do this. Easy there, Tiger.
Number one. My 
Let go. more about you. I don't think we know all that much. Hi, I'm Rory. I'm a scene kid with a dead sister. Uh, that's it. Wow. Dark, dude. Do you, like, have a job or any hobbies? Yeah, I work at this shitty video store, Planet VHS. We can get you any movie 6 to 12 months after its continental U.S. release on VHS. So basically, we suck. Any plans for college or anything? I don't really know if college is in the cards for me. Why do you say that? Well, after my sister died, my parents aren't really themselves. They've had a rocky relationship as it is, so I think if I left, everything would fall apart. That's not your job. You don't have to keep your parents together. I don't know if that's true. I feel like I have a responsibility to them. Hmm. Do either of you have jobs? I used to deliver papers but nothing lately. Now my dad pays me to proofread the things he writes. Oh yeah, and Alex is unemployed. I might be able to get you a job at Planet VHS. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm just holding out for the right job. I'm not really in a rush. Didn't you tell me on the way that your mom lost her job and you needed to help her out? I think she was just saying that. But I know she wouldn't want to push me into anything I'm not ready for. Did you go to college? 
Yeah, I graduated earlier this year. I have my BLA. Oh, so let me know if you do want that job at Planet VHS. My manager has his BLA, and the night shift manager has his DMA and dance. <laughs> I'll find something. I just need to hold on a bit longer till it feels right. When I moved from Frankton to Jet Set City to start college, I spent the whole bus ride mentally reviewing my 19 years and realizing that almost everything that had happened to me was pretty embarrassing. I'm not exaggerating. I, I didn't want to remember any of it. It was so pathetic. The more I thought about my life up to then, the more I hated myself. It wasn't that I hadn't been happy or hadn't enjoyed my high school experience. I could recall a handful of really great times, but if you added them up, the shameful, painful memories far outnumbered the others. When I thought of how I'd been living, how I'd been approaching life, it was all so trite, so miserably pointless. When I made it to college, I knew this was a time for reinvention. All I needed to do was imagine the Alex I wanted to be and work towards him. Forget the old Alex and be someone worth being. Now that I'm here, floating with you, I don't know if I was approaching life right. Did any of it really matter? So, uh, Michael, are you going to college? Yeah, I am. You don't sound so excited. It's just scary. Not the leaving home part, I don't care about that. But you have four years to ensure that you have a future. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? When my parents were kids, you didn't have to go to college. I bet in 10 years, you'll need your masters to even be considered for a job. I'm also scared of the debt, you know. Did your parents set up a college fund? Nah, they didn't really have that kind of money. They did good for a while, but my dad's work hasn't been going so well. Do you know what you want to go for? My mom said that when she was a kid, mind you, I don't know if women were allowed in college back then, you just went for whatever you wanted, and the degree meant you were educated and had the qualities of a working professional. But now, pick a major, get good at it, stick to it, and maybe you'll get a job. It's 1999, and the economy is terrible compared to my parents' day. Imagine what it'll be like for our kids' kids if we don't get our shit together. Yeah, it's scary, but you need to face that reality eventually. What are you leaning towards? Computers, probably. Maybe I'll make computer games. I can't imagine they'll have a major for it, but I'm good at math and I hear making games is all math. Hey, when Japanese developers make games, do they program in Japanese? Huh. I have no idea. I wonder if they have to translate programming language. They don't. All programming is done in English. Unless you're working in pure binary, then you just have ones and zeros. How do you know this? Oh yeah, I've tried making games before. I used Objective-C. It's pretty fun. Not great at making graphics, but I'm getting there. That's awesome! You'll have to show us something sometime. Yeah, maybe. Most of them suck, but I'm getting better at it. What, do you like, learn from a book? Yeah, I got this 5,000 page book on game programming. It came with a CD. Every day I try and do some of the example. 
I want to get to the point where I don't need to check the book if I want to add features. Oh, I think that's the strip mall up there. Let's go get something to eat at Burger Joint before hitting up the record store. I remember sitting at the burger joint wondering why it wasn't more like Michael or Rory. Michael, concerned about the future. Rory, someone who had something to aspire to. At the time, I told myself I had a purpose. I was looking for Semi Park. I was going to find her, save her, I don't know. Something was going to happen. Somehow there would be meaning in all this craziness. So, how about that economy? Yeah. Really seems like the world is going to shit, doesn't it? First Alex loses Sammy, I lose Carrie, the economy is tanking. Future looks bleak in 1999, boys. Must be Y2K. What's Y2K? It's some computer virus or something that's going to destroy modern society at midnight on New Year's. Not exactly. Computers only count the last two digits of a number, so they don't know the difference between 2000 or 1900. This will cause various problems with dates and finances and will probably cause a big mess. People all over the world are panicking. When 2000 rolls around, all the computers will crash and nuclear bombs will go off or something. Is this real? Like, is this really going to happen? Probably. I don't know. I think I'd kind of like to see it happen. Definitely would shake things up. What is wrong with you guys? That would cause serious problems! This is crazy. How have I never heard of this before? Probably because you live under a posh little rock and only hear about the things your mommy wants you to hear about. Screw you, man. Maybe that's why everything is going to shit. Maybe the world will end in the year 2000. We'll all die and our souls will float up into the soul space. Could you imagine? I could, but I didn't like it. Do you really think Y2K could have something to do with Sammy's disappearance? 
No, I mean, that's a computer problem, right? But then again, the world does feel like it's falling apart. All that war and whatnot overseas. What wars? Oh, there are a few, like the insurgency in Agadin, Nepalese Civil War, Republic of the Congo Civil War, Kosovo War, Eritrean Ethiopian War, Sierra Leone Civil War, and the war for our minds fought every day in the newspapers. I had no idea there were so many wars happening. What are they fighting over? Probably over the right to have more wars. Isn't that what war is usually about? War for war's sake? So uninformed. Jeez, I, I used to read the newspaper in college, but all I read is honest in 1999. Okay, enough of this depressing chatter. Uh, shall we proceed to the record shop? Shall we shall? But a shall. Hey man, do you have this record? It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Did you check the racks? What we have is what we have. Oh, yeah, I, I did. Can you look in your computer or something? Fine. G give me a minute. No, we don't have it. We have another store nearby. They'll probably have it. They, ha they have more of a selection. <sighs> okay, thanks. If you wait for the bus outside, the first stop is our flagship store. Only a 15 minute ride. As we rode along the highway, I felt a sudden fondness for Rory and Michael. There was something fun about a little quest for this record. Far from my mind were the things that brought me here. Sammy's disappearance, the entities, Bella. Bella, she was probably still mad at me, fuming away at her arcade, taking out her anger at me on unsuspecting tweens. I wondered why she didn't want us to find the record. I wondered if she had some bad memories associated with it, or if there was something about entities that I didn't know yet. My mind turned to Y2K. Could the world really end this year? You asked me six months ago. I'd have laughed at you. 
But now that I've seen so much strangeness, I can honestly say that stranger things have happened.
Hey, man, uh, I'm looking for this record. You've probably never heard of it. It's called Mystical Ultima LP Legend. I have the jacket, but I'm missing the record. Do, do you come from the internet? Are you from Onism 1999? What? Yeah, I mean, I go on there, but how did you know? I'm guessing it wasn't you who posted that, was it? Haven't you checked the forums today? Somebody posted a photo of this record jacket, and they've been asking people if they have a copy. They said it had something to do with Semi Park's disappearance. How do you know about Semi? I go on the forum too, obviously. Yeah, I've been following Semi's story for a while. But aren't you the guy who posted the photos of her last known location? I am, but... Wow, it's just... I had no idea anyone around here even knew about Semi. I'm just shocked. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Claudio. I'm Alex. This is Michael. He's the one who took the photos. And this guy here is Rory. He also works on autism. Aye, right, great. Uh, so you're looking for mystical LP, huh? Well, sorry. We don't got it. <sighs> but I do know where you can get it. It's gonna sound a bit odd. Hell, you know what? I'll come with you. I own this stupid place. I can take a break whenever I want. Yeah, we're down. Where do we go? There's this old guy. He's on a mountain south of here. He's a real chill guy. A bit out there, but he's got the biggest record collection on the East Coast. He's bound to have it. Let me, let me just grab my sister. Hey! Chandra! Come here a minute! What's up, Claudio? I'm gonna run to Mark's for a bit. Do you wanna come with us? Yeah, hold on. Let me get James to watch the front. So, how do we get there? It's a bit of a hike, but it's a nice walk. Head to the mountain south of here. He has a little cottage on top. Can't miss it.
I am sorry. I did not know you were here. You could have knocked, but I was in the back room in the stacks. As you can see, no one visits here. No one except the dungeon master, and so he hasn't visited in almost a year. Excuse me, but perhaps you have mistaken this for another floor? This is the library. I can't imagine you're here to read all these old books. Only the dungeon master is allowed to read them anyway. You're not the dungeon master, are you? No, didn't think so. Forgive me, I hate to be rude, but I'll need you to remove your glasses. There are things in this room that aren't meant for your eyes. Only the dungeon master is allowed to see. You understand, right? Good. Anyway, why have you come? What can I do for you? Oh, Crow told you to visit me? Oh, <laughs> well, it's nice to have the company. Usually Crow sends people away. That's his job, you know. Outsiders aren't allowed in the Dungeon of the Mind. What? Someone gave you the phone number for the Dungeon of the Mind? I don't know what that means. Have I met you somewhere before? As you may know, in this Dungeon of the Mind, memory is unreliable and uncertain. There are things we can remember and things we cannot remember. You seem to be among the things I cannot. Please forgive me, but I want to have met you before. Of course, what I want doesn't matter. Only what the Dungeon Master wants matters. Okay, I've spoken enough.
Look out for number one. Ha! Good. Chandra! for number one. Chandra!
for number one. for number one.
Chandra! Chandra! Chandra!
Chandra! for number one.
I'm so angry I made a sign. Sandra! Sandra!
Claudio. Chandra!
got for number one. really worth it. for number one.